I don't know why it does that. It just doesn't work for a second sometimes. How's it going, guys? Whew. So I went to the dentist. Had to have some work done on my teeth on the bottom right. And I have, uh, I've had some trouble with, like, nerves acting up during dentistry in the past. So I asked for, like, extra numbing injection. And I, like, cannot feel my right ear right now. Like... <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this entire side of my face doesn't really work. I'm going to try my best. I'm sure we'll be fine. I have a flak one and a burst laser two. I must have missed that happening. That happened last night, huh? Wow. So faster than light was going a lot better than uh, D and D did. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh no, I didn't get any dental drugs. It wasn't anything that big. It was just the, like a very light filling sort of thing. How's it going, Dunk Zinski and Rootful Kalias? Hey guys, yourself, Cynical Razor and Blazor. Blazor, you may wish to instruct your men to exercise caution when using explosives. Adriel oh, has been asking me about how D&D went. Yeah. Findle, how are you? Lofies, good day. Sir Wagglepuss, wooden trapdoor. Robo jumper. It's good to see y'all. Um. Why is this part of my head a weird color right now? I'm better. All right. Well, you guys, that's because it's numb. That's what it is. It's because this side of my head is numb, so you can't see that part. It's gone invisible slightly. It's disintegrating. I am a Lanius ship. Why are my doors not all open? Um, I have three non lanius crew. Is why? Yeah, that is. That's why. I don't really understand how, oh my god, imagine if dragging burst laser off the bar, like, dropped it and then you didn't have it anymore, I would have, oh my god. I would have had nightmares about that for the rest of my life. More fast and light VODs are coming soon. Awesome. People like the fast and light VODs. Run YouTube. I think it's something that lends itself well to YouTube viewing. Did I just do that? Well, that's a good start to the day. I probably just lost the run. Wow. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, nobody saw that. What was that? I didn't lose the run because this is in a nebula, so. Somebody killed my oxygen at some point, though. Let's go, NG controlled. Single runs are a good length for consumption. Yeah, I think, like, if I win a run, it's probably, what, two hours or so? But then most of them would be more like five minutes. Where are my doors? Okay, we're like very, very, very slowly getting back to it here right now. 
Um, this is all fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. All fine. I had to deal with, like, navigating the sector when I was already at the... Ex it was too confusing. And then people boarded me and they turned my lights off. So this is being fucked up. But we're doing all right now. Pips on the side of the web. Yeah, I could tell that that was flak too. I just didn't think it was going to shoot. I thought that I had the timing on it down. Wasn't even paying attention. And then all of a sudden it was shooting me. You've been watching people do freight hopping because that's a thing apparently. What is that? What? What does it mean? Like a freight train? I've watched a bit of people jumping freight trains, like documentaries and stuff. Typically made by the person who's doing it. And then they get arrested. That's like, yeah, my main exposure to that. They want to give us three fuel? Holy shit, don't mind if I do. All we're missing right now is cloaking, and I feel like we win. Cloaking and not killing ourselves are the two main things that we need to focus on right now at this point in the run. It's fine for this to shoot, I think. No problem. Hmm, their med bay is offline. I don't think we can go for bio kill, but it's sort of an interesting thing to think about at least. This guy's trying to get into it right now. It'd like to give me five fuel, seven missiles, and 18 scrap. This is a sector four fight. So I think the question is, am I going to be buying fuel at the market if I don't take this? Yeah, I am. So it's basically an extra 15 scrap. Give me 33 scrap and seven missiles for the reward. I think that's probably something we take. How's it going, Gun Fluster? Good to see you. Freight hopping is the act of someone hopping on a freight train. I love that it's like that simple, like what else could somebody need to know about it, you know? We'll go to the market now, I believe. Yeah. I do have no missile system. However, there are a decent number of events in the game where you are going to benefit from having missiles. In particular, there's one that just lets you sell them at a pretty good rate. I think I'd be curious about the halberd beam or maybe hull laser if I could afford them. I cannot. Perhaps sell the emergency respirators and go automated reloader and a little bit of hull fixing. I wonder how good the automated reloader actually is. Like, it doesn't stop me from dying to boarding. And boarding might be the only way I die, actually, at this point. Like, I'm really strong. The ways I die are... If in the next three sectors I don't find another weapon at all and I don't find cloaking, maybe we have trouble on, like, sector seven and eight ships. Or I can still just get overrun by a really bad boarding situation, I feel like. So maybe the automated reloader is not a priority and we should be going instead for doors. We could also get defense up a little bit better. Finish getting up to level 4 engines and get shields 3. I think both of those are higher priorities. So I'm just going to fix up the hull. We're actually going to hold on to emergency respirators. I feel like... 
Stuff like this in Mantis Pheromones. These augments aren't actually that bad in a no pause run, in my opinion. What is happening to the side of my face? I don't know. I really don't know. The light is just so weird right now. Every day is different. <laughs> Probably I have to slightly change my webcam filter. That do anything? That didn't do anything. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I think this is going to have to do for right now. That looks a little bit better. The corners are actually slightly non-transparent, but you guys probably won't notice, especially if I don't tell you. It would be difficult to lose both Lanius to borders since the AI will try and avoid staying in a deoxygenated room. A deoxygenated room. Yeah, what I imagine would happen in a bad boarding situation is they show up, they like blow up my clone bay, start slapping my weapons or shields or something while their ship is attacking us. Like there's an event where you have intruders on board and if you get that coupled with a ship with boarding, you can land yourself in some insane scenarios. And it's a rare thing to happen, but it's the sort of thing that I'm caring about because I'm in a situation where I already have hacking flak one burst laser two um, in sector four. I'm just sort of, I'm in a strong enough position that I can worry about something like that, if that makes sense. Usually I just, I'd be like, okay, if that happens and it goes badly, I lose. That's usually what I'd be thinking, but here I'm in such good shape that I feel like I can afford to actually try to defend against it. Columbia open to space. You patch kill. How should you spice your chicken thighs? The best chicken I ever had was like barbecue sauce and pineapple juice marinade. And then thrown on a barbecue. I wasn't even drunk and that chicken was incredible. I'm not saying you have to do that. I've had chicken like it since and it hasn't been as good. I don't know. I don't know what it was all about. There was probably something else in there. But I don't know what the other thing in there was, so I, I can't help you. There was some lemon zest. I remember that. There must have been some other spices, too. I only have six drone parts. I'm going to try to avoid using hacking in this fight. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. I look more homeless than usual. Thank you, Kitsune. I don't think weed was in there. I don't think that uh, my friend's father was feeding us weed when we were like 15. But maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. He's a cool guy. Maybe that's just something he's into. Feeding weed to minors via chicken. I, 
it would be an odd thing to be into. But we can't dismiss the possibility. Ta sur sapel amandin. I gave it my best shot. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to this stream. Hope you're enjoying the show. We should sell this for something, I think. Or should we save for cloaking? Let's do that. Ooh, we had an extra reactor power. Whoops. Well, we'll just have an extra reactor power for a bit. Do I live on... Yes, I do live on the West Coast. That's true. And he was in San Diego. The best you've ever had was Greek marinade. We'll get dry seasoning tonight. That's fair. Any sort of acidic fruit helps with chicken. I'm gonna try to hold off on using a drone part again here. Should be fine unless we get a pretty unfortunate sequence of hits from them. Good. I just remembered that... Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Just remembered that we can actually bio-kill this by just killing their oxygen. Can we survive? How long can we survive this shooting at us for? Like a really long time, probably. They're not even repairing their weapons yet. And once they do repair their weapons, we can always take them offline again. And they have to line up pretty well together to even risk hitting us. And then when they do, they're hitting us for like one hull. So one or two hull. Yeah, I think this is fine. Once he gets done repairing, I'm going to let him walk away and then shoot with the burst laser. Shoot again. It's just we have one more hull point to play with, so I might as well turn off their ion weapon for a bit longer. Ooh, they shot two at once. Both missed, though. What's our pilot doing? So we've got full level ups and evasion. All we have to do is pick up cloaking. And we'll have a 100% dodge ship when needed. Thanks for the follow, Robo Jumper. Welcome to the stream. Feel very rich right now. Uh, we'll probably go up to shields three as the next order of business. I think these guns work for the next sector coupled with hacking. And we always have the ion stunner to get online if we want. A Zoltan would be really cool. I don't actually know what this is. What is that? Is that a glaive beam? No, it charges too fast. Is it a halberd? It doesn't look like a halberd to me. I think I'll hack their shields. They want to give me a human now. They've changed their minds. Human would help defend against boarding. We're getting so much scrap from kills right now, though, that I think taking that crew is a mistake. It's a hull beam. Okay.
Just a little bit low on fuel. Should we go NG Homeworlds? Or Pirate Controlled? I think we'll go NG Homeworlds because it gives us the the option for Sector 6. I don't feel strongly one way or another here. Probably because I don't know enough about the sectors. I need to like do some more analysis of them. But this just seems like a... You know, I could go either way. And if I go to NG Homeworlds, I get to choose between two sectors and dodge an abandoned sector. Maybe even dodge a Mantis Sector at this point in the game. Because of the boarding situation. Your kitten won't stop sleeping on your face. Please help. Um, I've never had that problem. I can't really think what I'd do to try to solve that. Like, if a cat wants to be on your face, I feel like you're just fucked. They only live, what, like, 20 years is a fairly long lifetime for a cat, so you don't have to suffer through it that long. I think you, it's just part of having a cat at that point. You just have a cat on your face for 20 years. You'll get used to sleeping that way. I'm gonna throw my Ion Stunner online. Just get one more thing into the salvo. Buy it a feeding robot, it will forget that you exist. My cats have not forgotten that I exist since I got them the feeding robot. It's made me feel better about myself, honestly. It slightly raised my self-esteem that my cats still will give me the time of day even though they ostensibly get their food from a robot. Giant alien spiders. Ooh, we got five fuel, 19 scrap. Given that we have five fuel, we can dope around a little bit more before we hit this market and maybe save up enough for cloaking if that's on offer. Twenty years encompasses the period of time between OG XCOM and the Linux port of EU. So really, it's not that big. It's not. It's not that big a deal. It's just not that big a deal. You probably even weren't gonna use those twenty years of your life. Wouldn't you rather that your face was at least, you know, in use by a cat? Cats are so pretty and loving. Those are my engines. I have a stress response to like all of my rooms being deoxygenated. Deoxygenated. Also to that salvo from them, that was terrifying. How are we not dead? Imo, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying the show. Findle has been banned again. That's okay. This is just the way of life. I'm sorry to hear that, Findle. What did he say? Chat is dumb and wrong. Hmm. Sleeping face down is how you get dead nerves, according to chat. I think just like sleeping anyway, or sitting, or walking wrong. Just like whatever the fuck you do. Nope, dead nerve. Sometimes your body just like isn't pleased with you and decides to stop working. 
welcome to having a body. Um, unfortunately, there are not a lot of great options available otherwise as of yet. We found an ion bomb floating in space. We can turn that on if there's a reason to, but I think I'll just sell it. It's like a fairly strong weapon, but it requires a brain for you to use it and have it be good. And that's just not a good idea. That's just that's just not really what we want right now. I'm going to grab one more beacon before the market. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Their weapons seem shit, though. Wow, why didn't they board with, like, you know, any person? Seems like it would have been better. Okay, their four-tile door system has been <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> Got him. I will not accept surrender. Got that weapons buffer coming in handy right now. Decided to charge up their laser charger, I guess. Oh, that I see why the NG is suffocating now. Now that I look at the doors, yes, indeed, that room is entirely open to space. Um, a reasonable explanation for why the oxygen systems were unable to re-oxygenate it. Oxygen, wow. Did they like put drugs in the drugs they give you at the dentist? Hmm. They do. Sleeping is how you get dead, nerd. I mean. Sort of? I don't recommend sleeping in general. Most things you can do in life are too dangerous to really be uh, recommendable. Let's grab cloaking. Drone control is coming with a free defense drone. And I have a shield drone, which I actually think is like, okay. Uh, it costs me 27, which is... Wait, no, this sells for... Wait, it does. Yeah, no, it cost me 27 and this sells for 27. I might go drone control here. Mind control is nice for dealing with borders. It's nice for dealing with one of the phases of the flagship, but the shield drone and the defense drone, I mean, and cloaking. And we already have a Flak 1 and a Burst Laser 2. I'm just running out of ways that we can lose if we do that. What do you guys think? Could cloak and activate drone to get the super shield up and prevent teleport hacking and mind control. I could. I could do that. I wonder if we have enough money. We're sector five right now. We still have to buy shields three. We're good on engines. We actually probably have strong enough weapons to kill the flagship right now, but I wouldn't mind another weapons power or two. And we'll have to buy some reactor and some drones. It just doesn't feel like we actually have to spend that much money from here. You also have hacking and eight drones. But we're so strong that we don't usually have to use them, right? Hey, mind control's here too. I didn't realize that. Okay, that makes the decision easier. I didn't realize mind control is here as well. That's like... That's stupid. That's probably not actually legal what just happened. 
I'm not gonna buy... Well, am I? I sort of want to go to this market, but on the other hand, we just bought every single thing that we need for the entire rest of the game. So, <laughs> maybe we're fine. Maybe we'll just go... Um, like that, over repair the hull a little bit, and take some jumps. Rian, links to follow. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate your support a lot, guys. Shield overcharge is one point of defense every 11 or so seconds. You don't like the shield overcharge? I feel like people are trying to talk me out of the shield overcharge. I feel like it never really, never really got a chance. Never got its chance to shine. Need to work on the reactor and some other stuff too. One, two, three, and four gets us out. We can dive if we want. We've got enough engines. We have cloaking. We now have... An, uh, we can't sell our fuel, unfortunately. Mm, the dive's probably not worth doing. It would only be one more jump. We have a pirate fight. They have a lot of stuff. They can't board us though. And we also have a lot of stuff. Wow, we sure fucked up their doors. Oh yeah, those doors are dead. Death of Angels! Agbomosho to you as well. Thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate your support a lot. I feel very naked right now. Here we're good. Let's hack again. Shoot, 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 shoot. They don't have a pilot, so they have no evasion. Um, the only reason to take this would be if we're really concerned about fuel. I'm not that concerned about fuel, though. Agbo Mosho to you as well, Death of Angels. I'm invisible. Got one fuel anyway. Hey, we're back. You've got a think for door fucking jorbs. Should I be worried? What did you just say? Nagari night. Good morning. Welcome. Hope you're doing well today. What are you guys up to today? It's a Wednesday? Thursday for some of you? I've always been uh, pretty anti-Thursday. I don't know. Like Thursday and I just don't really get along. Wednesdays are okay. Thursdays, though. Thursdays have never been good days, I don't think. I'm trying to think if there's, like, ever been any time in my life where Thursday has been a good day. I guess Thursday Night XCOM for a while. When I was, like, doing the Beagle VODs. But on the other hand, I was usually, like, up all night the night before getting it done, so I was, like, exhausted, and then I went to sleep, and, yeah, it was still sort of a crappy day. Hmm. You are a wizard now. You have earned your white hat. Keep at it, and soon you can advance to the rank of black hat or even beyond. Other people don't even know what's next. I do. I don't remember right now, but it, it's all a mystery right now for you guys. And for me, because I don't remember at the moment. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. They're pirates. They're, they're pirates. Is I spoilers. No doubt, one of many fleeing the rebel events. They're pirates. Like this. <laughs> it doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice because it's a fucking pirate. Maybe, maybe they're smugglers. It's a pirate ship. Oh, actually, it's this is a different ship than the refugee ship. Okay, that's that's fair. That's different. No, that's fair. 
That was wrong of me to say the refugees were pirates. They were probably just smugglers. Man, I for one am surprised. Piracy in space. Seems impossible. Don't have to use hacking gear. Ooh, nice cloak by them. Very nice cloak. Whoa, I think we can bio kill now. Probably. Why aren't they going to the med bay? It's like they know that we're about to hack it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're all dead. Oh my god. Yes, let me shoot them. <laughs> that was probably unnecessary. I probably could have just flacked them. We've contacted the refugee ship. They have given us stuff. I have said only nice things about them, so that, that does make sense. Yeah, Bress, how you doing? There was a Gallup poll of the worst day of the week and most people voted for Thursday. That doesn't really surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. Isn't Thursday payday? Um, well, I, I just, no, not for me. That was a good bio kill. I think we wasted the drone part. I think it was a waste. I have so little air in my ship. I know. I feel constantly stressed out about that. Like non-stop stressed out. Twitch chat trolled me that I should play this way though. And so I have to. I'm gonna grab a shields buffer. We have cloaking and hacking and mind control and flak one and burst laser two, so like it shouldn't matter. There you go. There's the missile event. Mantis controlled, rebel controlled. So I'd rather go rebel controlled. I just don't really like it when there are mantis on my ship. That's all. Wow. Fun sector. I wonder if it can generate sectors where you have to dive. Like if it goes like here, 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 and then your only jump is like up, 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 and then over, down, 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 or something. I wonder if that's possible. It's probably unlikely enough that it would never happen, but that doesn't mean that it's not pulse possible. We got a pulsar here. They have not the most terrifying weapons ever. They do have boarding. In the mothership battle, I will now lack a drone part for the deciding hack. Oh, that's sad. I think I'll be okay. They give you drone parts in that sector, so I think it's pretty much impossible not to have any. I'm gonna use mind control when we get boarded to just deal with the borders very, very easily. Um, I think I'm gonna hack their weapons to stop them from shooting at me before I get my salvo off. Although I have cloaking. I think, yeah, I think I'll do that. Just like now, I guess. Okay. It was not even close to necessary. Or they take out something. My weapons are down. Uh, those guys are attacking my sensors. My weapons are still down. Now what happened? My shields are down. Cloaking's up. We can hack there. Ooh. They have no shields at the moment. That's unlucky. I'm sure that I'm meant to be able to bio kill them here.
Whoa, they came to me? That's brave. Ouch. Okay, I'll just shoot you then. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. For a pulsar fight, that wasn't that bad, really. Those can be really, really, really nasty. Just found a few leftover crisps. The day is saved. I don't know. It's still Thursday. It can't be that great. I think Ion Pulse hits... Hey, we got another missile of that. Boom. I think Ion Pulse hits random systems, and so the more systems you have, the more defended against it you are. That's what it seemed like in the times that I've had to play against it. Like, if I get it early when I only have five systems on my ship, it's hitting shields and weapons very commonly. But later on, it's a little bit less scary. It's a really nice map. Thank you for that. We have eight jumps before we're diving. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight or something would be fine. Just go to one wizard market for fuel. To get us the rest of the way out. Maybe buy weapon pre-igniters or something. Who could say? Maybe another gun? We could use another gun. Wouldn't be so bad. These guys are non-threatening. They do have cloaking, so it'll take a little while to kill them, but they, I'm pretty sure, can't hurt us. How many times does this shoot? Oh, it does shoot twice. So they can hurt us if every single one of their weapons happens at exactly the same time. I'm not super worried. Oh, I also have to forget to cloak somehow. 11 more minutes of Wednesday. I wish it well. The flying wedgie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was inspired. Well? I mean, uh, a tough fight so far. Okay. Robo jumper. I don't know what that means. I walked home from the dentist today since I was like worthless for like streaming. Figured I'd get some exercise. And while I was walking, I was wondering how many hours I thought it would be reasonable for it to take for me to kill this drone. Um, <laughs> for me to beat Dolphin Chemist's hard no pause streak record I was thinking like a couple hundred but that might be really really optimistic I don't know maybe we should shoot their cloaking is it better to use flak to reduce shields or hull um, the flak can miss if you aim at one of the rooms, but it never... Okay. This is actually more confusing than I thought it was going to be when I started trying to explain. Um, it's better to use flak against shields. There. There. 
I did not get knocked out for dentist work, no. I just got so much numbing agent injected into my face that I couldn't really talk. Um, without biting my gum. Hey, I feel sort of normal now, that's nice. So when you shoot flack at something, I'm just going to assume that this can't hurt me and show you. You get a spread of the flack one, two, and three, those little red dots are where it's going. Now, they always connect with the shields, but if the shields are already down and they try to connect with the ship, they can just completely miss it if the spread does not land on where the ship is. So because of that, you want them to be taking down the shields, because if you're trying to deal hull damage with them, they may never even roll to try to hit. They may just not, not be anywhere near. I'm consistently timing everything wrong. I have to time, like, I think it goes flak, then ion stun, and then burst after, is how I should be timing it. That was slightly better, but my burst was a little bit too long to charge up. So flak, ion stun, and burst. Oh god, their cloaking is back. You have to pay extra for numbing. So, what the fuck? That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's nothing positive I can say about the idea that you have to pay extra for numbing and therefore you just like experience huge amounts of pain when you get dentist work done. Why not hack shields? Uh, cause I can win the fight without using hacking instead. That time I just shot things in completely random orders. If I don't hack, I have one more drone part. I'm not losing anything by being here. Except like small amounts of my sanity. But I'm chatting with you guys. That was okay timing. It goes flak, ion, burst laser. The ion was too late. Flak, quick ion. Is it actually random how long the ion takes to get there? Somewhat? I wonder if it is. Flak, ion, burst laser. That time it took the ion longer to get there than the flak. I bet it's somewhat random, and I'm just like going slowly insane trying to understand this thing, which is just actually random number generators. I'm gonna upgrade my doors, keep moving. Y'all know that sanity is overrated. Hey, Drawzer, how you doing? Gonna add survival plus. Sorry, I was a little late to get started. Whoa, they have some shields. Uh, I think it's actually better to hack piloting than shields. Ooh, yeah, I think it is. This missile can hit us. It didn't, though, fortunately. They lose... They don't have any evasion, right? Because I actually destroyed their piloting. Yeah. It's cool that we can see that. That seemed like a worthwhile use of a drone part for that hack. And the point of hacking piloting is that it turns off their evasion. 
so our salvo hits. Instead of missing. I think timing is affected by position on the ship itself. I think it's random. I mean, it is affected by position on the ship, but I think it's also got some randomness. You haven't been to the dentist for a while and you're ashamed to show up now. Um, no, go to the dentist. Get your teeth fixed. It does seem very counterproductive to the goal of having healthy teeth. The dentist is like a service that you use to have healthy teeth. It's not like a social construct that you use to not feel ashamed. They have a burst laser too and they cannot hurt me. That feels good. No cloaking, why? How far from the end am I? This is sector five, and we are about halfway through sector five. So we have sector six and seven, and then the final sector, which is sort of like, it usually ends up being sort of half a sector's worth of fights and things, plus the flagship itself. That follow trolls are. Hope you're enjoying the show. I somehow did not kill them there. This is why you take away the evasion from these automated ships, because they can have pretty high evasion later on in the game. This is what people told me, at least. I'm gonna buffer clone bay, I think. Well, hmm. Yeah, let's do that now. Just one of the ways that I can conceivably lose is to have my clone bay killed by borders. Well, not by borders. Have my clone bay killed while I'm getting boarded so that my crew kills or something like that. So that my crew gets killed. So that my crew, yeah. A buffer point will help a bit. You're with Morty. You always feel bad going and getting asked the flossing question. Um, one solution is just to floss. Just saying. Flossing sort of sucks though, I understand. Except it like leaves your teeth feeling cleaner, which can be pretty nice. Uh, that was probably the wrong one to... I don't know. I guess the ion stuns the shield for quite a while, so it's a lot better to have the ion too early than too late. Oh my god, did we just miss some attacks. I think I cloaked too late against that bomb. I am getting close to just using a drum part. There it was. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> it will also mean your breath doesn't smell like the last four days worth of food. Flossing is just generally good all around. It's not a, nah. I don't know. I enjoy flossing quite a lot. It's like a fun mechanical thing to do. It's one of the more fun ways that I can maintain my body. It's like pretty simple and just like uh, a nice repetitive chore or something. I don't know. Jorbs on dental hygiene get good. Yes. Yeah, fallible. Yeah, I don't know. This is a fairly silly ship. You discovered one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. Really? Tell me more about these. I have never seen one before. I'm gonna cloak the burst here. Oh. 
Really nice flak. Hey, it will work for ice cream. You know, I was worried that time. I hadn't heard from you. I wonder how many more drone parts they have. Probably like 13 or something. I've killed two of their drones with flak though. Um, just because of like being in, in front of the flak gun when I've shot. I'm invisible and you're dead. They made you actually do work at work today. Oof. Oof. I'm sorry. Your concern is they will pull a couple of your teeth and your dirty commie socialist healthcare doesn't cover putting replacement in. Just like... I don't know. There must be something funny you can do with uh, your teeth missing. I'm gonna let my Lanius die to this fire. Did he not die? He didn't die. Okay. Well, I tried very hard. You do get stuck with your teeth for quite a long time. Well, if you're lucky, I guess. Something to consider. Zoltan crew. Zoltan crew could help this ship go, like, completely ballistic. I could throw two of them in the clone bay to make sure it never shut down. I could throw two of them in shields. It's probably unnecessary, and it might just be worse than buying an automated reloader, honestly. There's a drone recovery arm! We could have made the drones work. There's a hull beam we could turn online. We're generally getting through their shields, right? I think most of the time we are. I'm going to sell my emergency respirators, get the hull beam, get the automated reloader, get some fuel. And carry on. I'd love to turn the ion stunner into a flak one or really anything that shot things which weren't ion. Um... But other than that, feel good. Automated real loaders. <laughs> that's right, quality puppet. That's right. This is an automated drone. Wow, we have met a lot of these lately. Is this one actually scary? This one's actually scary. I'm gonna hack piloting. I was meant to cloak that. I feel like since we got mind control, we have fought only automated drones. Maybe like one other type of ship. Yeah, like, we got boarded by some... Oh, no, no, no. We did manage to bio-kill some people as well. I remember now. I'm thinking I'll dive. Just seems free. Let's just dive. 
Was there any oxygen room at the Lanius ship? Um, ooh, there are intruders. This is this is the one that we lose on. Where are they? In our cloning bay. And these guys are in our engines. Wow, we just obliterated them. They are all dead. Good work, us. That was nice. Biocal, maybe? Yeah, I think so. like to give me a heavy laser Mach 1. Mark 1. Mach? Mark. Four fuels, six missiles, and 51 scrap. That is an incredible surrender offer. And I would be more than happy to grab that heavy laser. I'm just gonna throw it online right now on top of the ion stunner and then we'll maybe upgrade the ion stunner to the hull beam eventually. Having to depower engines for a sec in order to make that work. Nothing. So. I'm going to dive right now. I think everything's set up pretty well. Just looted a Vulcan. Life is beautiful and so is everyone here. Thank you, Aerofleur. Thank you. You didn't have to say that. But I appreciate your honesty. Hey, these guys have a Vulcan. Speaking of Vulcans. Huh. Uh, we might die. Definitely might die. Oh, we can jump already. Okay. Let's go engine controlled to finish things up. Dodge those mantises. Mant mantel mantaloodles. Dodge the mantaloodles. Now you wish you would gain rewards for diving. Sort of do. Chain burst laser. It's not a bad gun, but... It's not as good as the ones we have already. Wait, my mind control's broken. Oh my god, they just shot me a lot. Um, I'm going to heck their piloting here. Shot me a little bit. Okay, good salvo at the end. Man, uh, just having no oxygen in the rooms and then like closing the doors is fucking overpowered. That's such an easy way to deal with borders. Cool. We're starting to run out of things to upgrade. We are in sector seven, so yeah. 
I don't think I've ever really cared about getting to shields four since the first time I ever did it and just like wasn't good. Then since then it's like, whatever, shield three is fine. Did I just unbind pause or do I have some real high willpower? I did unbind pause. I also have some really high willpower. If I click out of the game, it pauses. I don't know if there's a way to stop it from pausing if I lose focus at the window. Like if I click on Twitch chat right now, it pauses for me and there's just nothing I can do about that. It's only ever happened once that I've clicked outside the window accidentally during a fight and that's caused a pause of the game. But I'd, I'd prefer that that got taken away somehow. I feel like boarding makes no pause two times as... Oh my god, there's more of them. Why are there more of them? It's too many. Like, at some point... At some point, it just has to stop. Yeah, in general, I think boarding can screw you pretty hard in no pause. SSJ Lucas Gaming, thanks for follow. Welcome to the stream. We'll hold on to our scrap in case we have weapon pre igniters at the store. I think that's the only expensive thing that we would buy at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks good. Got one more jumping. It's nice to go to the store as late as we can, so that if we take some hull damage, we can fix it. How many jumps did we have? I don't remember. Maybe buy three fuel just to be safe. Oh, there are two markets. I guess we're going to them. I don't know. I can't imagine that they'll do much for us. Flak one. Never mind. I was I was wrong. I am willing to admit when I am wrong, and I was wrong then. I think my weapons loadout is so strong that it's better to just go to seven power than to try to get the beam online. Going to seven power means, um, just realizing some things about how my door should be set up. Going to seven power Okay, this is breaking my brain a little bit too much. Oh my god. Um, maybe... <laughs> Going to 7 power means that potentially I can get up to 8 and have a buffer on my weapons so they don't turn off. And I just don't see any reason to have more than that. That's already bonkers, really. With an automated reloader. That's a little disgusting, actually. Let's check out the other store. Before I sell everything. Prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. It could be sort of nice. Makes it easier to hack in one of the phases. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, probably doesn't really matter. I thought that was flak one. It's flak two. Uh, repair arm. Da, 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 da. None of these things really do anything. So I don't want to sell the hull beam. It seems like it would be fun to play with the hull beam. I know I was just saying how like I didn't ever possibly need it, but this seems like more fun. So I'm gonna do the thing which is dumb and more fun. Polinho. So follow welcome to the stream. That'd mean I had to get to another store at some point. Am I diving? I guess I'm diving. Okay, that's fine. No, it's just a terrible idea. Just sell it. I'm going to use the scrap from the next 
three jumps to upgrade my cloaking, I believe. Make sure that our dive is completely safe. Big dumb fun is the best way to play. Um, when it works. I don't know, some of this is like... I mean, yeah, anytime you can ever have double flak one and a burst laser two on your ship, you're going to take it, right? You're never not going to accept that. Important to recognize when you're just getting very, very lucky, though, which has certainly happened this run. You like my offense, but the first volley better cripple the flagship. No, we're fine. We have cloaking. They can barely hurt us. You guys have a Vulcan. I wonder if they'll survive long enough to get that online. Probably, right? Whoa, they actually, like, shot me? Maybe I should have hacked them. I will give them nothing. My first volley is going to work on the flagship because I have mind control to, like, guarantee that it hits. I'm just going to go after their shields, though, because, honestly, their offense against me isn't that scary. Um, 31 scrap and a little bit of hull damage. Not that big a deal. Let's go to max cloaking. We are going to mosey on over... To this dive and be invisible. That's the plan. I think it's generally a good plan. The last stand. That's the best end game weapon loadout. Now we need to replace this heavy laser with a burst laser, I think. It's close though, it's okay. Poor guy. He's manning my oxygen room. He's determined that our weapons don't have oxygen, so he's manning our oxygen room, I think is what just happened with his AI. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Um, I just skipped through the entire narrative because we were under attack, which is weird. Sorry, sometimes I do like to talk about the narrative and stuff because it's cool, but in this instance, we were, you know, literally under attack while it was happening. I'm going to jump here, 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 there, there. Skip this repair. It's not that important, I don't think. Oh boy. Oh, that made me very, very excited. Alright, so those guys are dead. Let's 
take a look at what's actually going on here. Well, it doesn't matter, right? We're not gonna... We're a little bit too lethal to bio-kill them. I've decided. <laughs> I have other priorities in my life right now, like killing them with gargantuan flak volleys. This is the budget best weapon setup because you don't have to pay for weapons eight. Okay. It's a pretty good weapon setup. I like it. Um, shields four, buffer points. I think I'd rather just buffer points. Sort of important systems. Don't want them to be going down. Oh, that guy can just walk through doors. Whoops. I just shot their shields and then cloaked before their missiles hit me. Okay. We're all right. We took a rocket that we didn't have to take, but we're fine. There's no time to salvage? That's pretty sad. I hope there's time to repair my engines. I'm just gonna sit here for the next 15 minutes repairing my engines. Hopefully, hopefully the situation isn't that dire. Steve is manning doors. I am manning doors. Doors are good. How's it going, Atom? Rule two of AI design, people will read the most into slightly randomized behaviors. People do like to look for patterns and things. I was being facetious when I said that I thought that that was the entirety of what the AI had just done there. For what it's worth. I'm taking one extra fight. I just feel like we get more stuff and don't see a reason not to. Hello. You guys have some things. Did I like not cloak their flak or something? That was okay. They would like to surrender. I bet they would. Pre-igniters? Wait, I can't afford them though. Oh no. Uh, we could change to a med bay. We can buy the backup battery. How could I not? Nobody would ever forgive me if I didn't buy the backup battery there. It's going to be really sad when we lose the flagship fight, by the way. After, like, you know, just randomly buying absolute garbage for the entire final sector. <laughs> I'm hoping that we'll be all right. Should we man the backup battery? We could man the backup battery. Distraction boys. I, I think we're okay. The rebel flagship is jumping. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. I'm going to turn back real quick 
and grab myself a glass of water and go to the bathroom. I've learned from RoboJumper that this is this is the time to take your break when the viewers are salivating with anticipation. I'll be right back. say learned from robo jumper learn from dolphin chemist did i say learn Ah. Who the hell is Roller Jumper? Boys! You say boys! That's how you pass it. All right, what are they gonna hack? Okay, we went. Thank you. 
No! Ooh, that was bad. Alright, we're gonna throw everything into the shields room. Oh yeah, they do. Right. Mm. There's just, there's a possibility of bio kill if we shoot everything at the shields room again here. And we want to bio kill as many of the crew as possible in the first stage so they're not around for the rest of the fight. The backup battery was truly key there. Should we go repair? No, let's go here. It's a bagel. A bagel with cheese. You guys see that? I used the backup battery to save my guy there. That was huge. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it was it was a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Whew. Oh, 100% necessary. We would have died without that. Would it just mean dead right now? I think I screwed up. <laughs> Definitely screwed up. Uh, let's space our mantis. rest of the team where they belong. And now we fly back to the flagship. Hacking works here. Mind control works and is quite important. Let's grab another reactor bar. I think what we're going to do is kidnap their crew in this situation. It's going to be an interesting fight. I'm not sure how many more they have. Six. Now we probably don't need to. Man, I went managed that really badly. The backup battery is down. Okay. 
So we got their crew with us. We're just going to kill them, get the ship fixed up, and... Yeah. Fine here. The backup battery, though. Took some damage. So I cloaked considerably before the surge. I wanted to see if with three cloaking, I was able to cloak before the surge and still be cloaked when it happened. Because you, on phase... Two, you can cloak the missiles plus the surge sometimes. It looks like I can't. So we're gonna have to get hit by the missiles. Which is fine. This is why we have buffer points. Uh, I'm gonna buffer engines once. I guess my NG is dead. Kill the Mantis too. Anyone got any tips on how to not constantly die with the first ship without getting lucky and picking up a flak or another burst laser? Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was not the most impressive life that NG just lived. Is it that difficult? It's like not a great ship, I don't think, but it's okay. There's nothing else to power. It just like doesn't matter. That one. You're struggling against three plus shield ships when the only weapons you find are just one shot lasers or more missiles. Hey, it's a host filthy robot. The robot's still playing the Battle Brothers? Filthy Robot says he's not addicted to Battle Brothers. I know the truth. I know the truth. I see that man streaming far past his regular hours playing Battle Brothers for months on end. I'm on to him. He told me uh, this morning that I should play Battle Brothers and that it was a really good game. I'm like a little bit curious about that. I just got really confused and possibly lost myself the run. Is it because I mind controlled my guy? I'm like still really confused actually. Um, I'm gonna take the safe jump and get things back under control. That was really confusing for some reason. For some reason, my Mantis just got obliterated by a human border, and I spent like 10 seconds looking at it, wondering why it had happened. And I still don't really know. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh. I do do a D&D series with Filthy Robot. That's a lot of fun. I look forward to that every week.
Huh, lol. I lost. Apparently I couldn't jump. Well, that's the first time that's happened. I'm an inexperienced faster than light player, and I learn a new thing every day. Hell, I learn several new things every day. Today I learned that you can't jump in that pattern against the flagship. Also, you should probably cloak its uh, main burst. Hmm. GG, nice run. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I would definitely have won. They hadn't even touched my weapons yet, or my shields. Like, they have the non-critical systems, but... They're non-critical for a reason. Could have just shot them again a couple of times. All right, cool. Well, on the bright side, I don't have 